Hey everyone, welcome back to another new video. So this time uh, we have a Lenovo T470 laptop motherboard and it's came in repair. It's turned on with no display. So now I will try to fix this board. So let's try to fix it. Okay, uh, this is the motherboard part number NM A931. So this board is turning on. So let's plug in. Check the condition of this motherboard. So as you can see, uh, look at my power supply, it's taking very low amps and uh, fan also is spinning. So now I will check all the required voltage step by step. So I'm going to start from uh, 12 volt or 9 volt which is the main power rail. So let's check here. Okay, uh, we have 12 volt present in this main power rail. Now I will check this uh, 3 volt and 5 volt always voltage. This is a 3.3 volt and this is a 5 volt. So let's check some uh, suspension or secondary voltage. Check here. This is a 5 volt output. 5 volt is okay. Flip this board and check this. Uh, okay, let's check the RAM supply. This is a RAM voltage, so we have a 1.2, it's okay. There is a 1 volt always, this also okay. Let's check here 1.8, it's also present. So let's check here, okay, 2.5, this also okay, it's 1 volt, output is also present, 3.3, 3.3, this is a suspension or uh, secondary voltage, this also good, this is 1.2, output 1.2. So as you can see all the voltage is present. Now I'm going to check the VCC SA voltage. It's this is a VCC SA coil, no voltage present. CPU missing. So all the voltages are present on this motherboard except uh, CPU core voltage and VCC SA voltage. So now I'm going to check the uh, impedance in this three coil CPU core and VCCSA. So let's start from here. So we have 13 ohms. It's good and perfect. This also good, perfect. Okay, as you can see, VCCSA, this power rail showing zero. That means this line is fully short to ground. So that means our CPU is bad. Let's take this and a schematic diagram. Let's open. PL404 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 So this is a VCC SA voltage and this voltage this voltage was the CPU as you can see here so that means this evidence showing zero if I check with beep mode and it's given beep it's fully short
so I measured this coil and this coil showing fully short to ground so either this IC or this CPU can be bad with the board try to find some is it look good this capacitor look like something different let's remove this so look at this capacitor maybe this time we are lucky i don't know let's let's remove this take this yes we got it look at that look at that this caps fully short Check here. Now it's showing 20 ohms. Let's check this coil again. So it's showing 21. 21. So I think we are lucky this time. So let's plug it in again. Try to turn on from oh, here yeah. and it's setting on now. It's taking 500 milliamps, so that means this board is turning on with display. Let's remove this RTC battery. So we don't need to turn on from power switch. It will turn on automatically. And it's turning on. It's taking enough ampere. So ampere is, is stuck 544. I think I need to clean the RAM. Just clean this. Plugging again. Let's turn it on. No, it's it's still same. No variation.
check with another RAM. Okay, this one good. Let's plug in again. Hmm. Now look at my power supply. The ampere variation. This time I think everything will be okay. Okay, it's the restart. Come on. Let's restart again. And we have Lenovo logo. So today we are so lucky. First time I thought CPUs died. But we found a little caps blown on this motherboard. Just remove the, the caps and this board back to life. So we need to change the RAM also. This RAM is faulty. So I hope you all enjoy this video. Thanks for watching this video.